Hey there everyone. Today I'm going to do a little different thing. This is going to be a basically how I learned to blend and I am no expert at that but I wanted to show. So what I've got is a little tongue depressor and I'm just using craft paints. True Red, Americana True Red which I actually should put some on the palette because we're going to do that. And uh, Vivid Violet, again Americana. I just picked those two colors because in theory I could blend those. I need to shake that one up. Which has now made a mess on my palette. Okay. So, just to show. I thought I had two toothpicks. I was going to just do one. Uh, this is the mess. <laughs> so we'll just ignore that one. So I've got the red and I've got the purple. And oh, I'm going to forget the guy's name, but this was in the uh, exotic non metallic metals class at ReaperCon. And, and we just kind of mixed a mid tone, or I guess it's not a mid tone, but a mixture of the two colors we were doing. That seems really dark and I want to get to a middle color. And in theory I should do another one here with just a little red and then another one over here with a lot more red. Which I guess really in theory we could just swirl all this and you'll get a blend on the palette actually and I'm not using a wet palette here but that's probably better and I did all of that painting with like this big brush but we're gonna skip that so I'm going to dip into like the exact middle of the color and what got me was I think it was just hey, just erase that line in between them. I was like, oh, okay. And so, you know, I went through and I did something a little bit like that. And that was basically it. And my first little blends doing it that way were just so shocking and that that's a different color I should have done over. But, you know, just this is on a giant scale compared to the small minis that we normally paint. But uh, let's see, a more red one for down here. And it was just going through and erasing your lines in between. And I'm not even cleaning the brush off as I go in between these colors. I'm just kind of looking to see where it was. So, you know, not washing the brush off, you kind of get into a little bit of wet blending. And let's go more towards the true purple. And just try to erase that line. And still a little red there. So let's get more purpley here. But anyway, that's pretty much fully my plan for blending from now on. Is just going through and erasing my lines and of course this still does show lots of layers but with the palette spread right there you can really just go through and pick whichever color you think isn't working quite right like I've still got a lot of purple I would probably put well let's do it shoot no reason not to I put it on the wrong side of the palette but you know just some 
pure color of that one that I was doing. I'm just racing it and maybe we grab a touch of the red. That was way too much red. Let's undo that. Yeah, that was too much red and I think I screwed it all up. So let's just wipe that off. And go back to some more pure purple. And we just did this in the class for like an hour or so. Just kind of going through and erasing the lines between the layers over and over and over. And I think that was the point where blending clicked in my mind. I was like, oh, this is kind of a way to do it. So, there you have it. Um, yeah, this is drying really quickly. It's pretty dry right here. But, uh, you put that onto a miniatures figure you know, instead of a tongue depressor, and you've got a pretty decent blend, you know. This little quick thing is not something that's incredibly displayish. Well, I guess it is over tabletop, but anyway, that's how I blend, or how I'm planning to blend. I actually have only done it on one little figure that I was just doing for fun. Well, I guess we all do this all for fun. But uh, I'm planning to do it on at least two other figures and really try hard to get it the way I want it to look. Because this has been something that has probably been plaguing me for half a decade is how do I actually make it look decent and, oh there's just lots of layers and I put lots of layers on and they don't look right and, well it's because I was using you know the base color and the highlight and it's like well that doesn't work and I guess there is another technique where you use thin layers of paint and just go over and over and over it multiple times that never worked for me very well but this I'm happy with that blend if I get the glare off. You know, that's a, a decent blend for me on a figure, so I'm happy. Anyway, this video's run much longer than what I actually had planned, but there you go. There's how I blend. And hope it helps someone out there. See you around. Bye.